Happy Saturday, beloveds. It's Shamanda. Welcome back for another episode of Smart Money Saturday. So I'm checking in with you guys today, of course, to update you on my debt-free journey and hopefully to continue to motivate you as you're on your journey as well. Now, I just want to send a special shout out to the debt-free community. We are awesome. I think it takes a lot to really talk about debt and money and finances and um, liabilities and, you know, our financial goals, our aspirations. It takes a lot to talk about that because I think today, even in today's society, 2018, hold on one second, it is still considered somewhat taboo to even talk about money. Um, it's, it's considered taboo to want to be wealthy. You know, people still feel uncomfortable discussing these things. So for us to be so open and transparent about our financial goals and situations, I think is really awesome. And I hope that, you know, this community continues and grows exponentially. So I just want to say that. Um, so where am I? I am... I uh, just finished my work week, work week, excuse me, yesterday. Um, actually, I only worked Monday through Thursday. However, I had a training on Friday, so um, yesterday. So, finished my work week, and my official, I guess, the, the pay period has officially ended. Now, if you remember, I told you that my this new job that I have, we are paid monthly. I think, like, the fifth of every month. And so... So basically, next week I'll receive my first paycheck. Now I typically get paid one to two days early because of the card that I use, um, and so I'm very excited about that. I'm kind of counting down, and you know it's so weird, but it's not weird to you guys because you understand how it feels. But I look forward to payday, not so I can like spend money or go shopping or something. I look forward to making another debt payment. Like that is absolutely exciting to me because what I realize is that my net worth is like starting to balance out now i have seventy thousand dollars worth of student loans still remaining however you know every time i make a debt payment that that goes down and next week it will start my 401k again and then i have i started a S H S A, um and so and then of course i have my baby step one so i like my my assets will be growing as i'm paying off debt i know it's not supposed to be that way i'm not supposed to do that but it's only a small 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 part like i'm not doing too much i'm not going overboard with it but as i like i said it'll be growing as i'm paying off debt so i'm excited about that um okay so currently i am at the last debt before my final debt right so i i have a iris tax bill and it went from eleven thousand nine hundred and ten dollars to currently i owe three thousand eight dollars and eighty seven cents now in a couple of days i want to say four days i should pay i'm paying fifteen hundred and eight dollars and eighty seven cents and that will relieve me with a fifteen hundred dollar balance it probably will be less than that but um uh, I'm looking forward to that because so my last payment on that debt will be I'm sorry. I have no idea what just happened. I think my, yeah, my phone the temperature said it, it shut off anyway, so <laughs> I don't even know where I was at. I think I was telling you guys that my final payment for that final debt before my last debt which is student loans is gonna be June, the first week of June, and it's only going to be $1,500, not only, but $1,500. <sighs> and that's how I feel, like a big sigh, because I'm like getting closer and closer. Once I get that paid, I can focus strictly on student loans and literally pay all my debt off on here. Okay. So, um, my one of my favorite stores in order to be debt free is, hey, how you doing? Uh, the Dollar Tree. And I use that store because everything is literally one dollar plus tax, of course. But like, when my children want like snacks, or whatever, you know, I'll go to there, pick up something, and use like our miscellaneous funds. Um, oh, I know what else I wanted to talk to you guys about today. I this next phase that I'm coming up on, I'm really focusing on like uh, 
meal planning and things like that. I really want to save money in certain areas. And I think like grocery shopping or my grocery budget is probably one of the areas which is kind of difficult to, difficult to maintain only because I have two growing children, a 10 and 11 year old, and they eat like it's nothing. And it's not me, it's eating all the food. <laughs> really is not is them so you know i really want to like meal plan and like have a menu every week and and like shop for the ingredients that i need and know exactly what i need and and shop for that and have like a strict grocery budget and stick to that um i actually travel one hour to and from so two hours a day um for work and so until I move closer to my job, I really want to, you know, stay in my budgets. And hopefully I'll be able to cut that, the gas budget a little bit once I move closer to my job. And, of course, the gas prices are going up this summer. You know, so it's a lot coming up. But, like, I'm, I don't, honestly, I'm just excited, just to be honest with you, because I'm about to be down to my last day. And once I get to my student loans, I can, like, it's only, it's six of them. And I'm going to separate them. And I would pay them off like individually. Like the first three are like five thousand dollars, five almost six thousand dollars. So I'm gonna like snowball those, but this man is looking at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> Which I probably look crazy right now. But anyway, um I wanna pay like monthly I'll be paying like fifteen hundred dollars, sometimes two thousand dollars. So like on average, it should take me about three months to pay, go through those three no, those three debts, three loans. And then my next one is, I think, $12,000, and then the other one's nineteen, and the other one, the last one's twenty. So when it gets to those three, those last three, that's when it's going to be a little bit of a struggle. But um, according to my calculations, I should be snowballing at that point $2,500 a month. And then ultimately it'll be three thousand dollars a month. So it should go by pretty fast. And I calculated that it should take me, like currently, as of May, beginning of May, I will be it'll be twenty three months until I am one hundred percent debt free. So I'm excited about that. Like I think it's April two thousand and twenty. When I think about that, it's like oh my gosh, that's too many years. Oh my gosh. But like in the in the gist of things. It's only two years out of, like, I i don't know how many more years I plan to live. Like, I hope to live till I'm, like, over 100. So, two years is not a lot compared to that. And just to think, like, once I pay that off, the money keeps going to, like, investments. And, like, I really want to own some franchises. Of course, rental property. I'm still a licensed real estate broker in North Carolina. Um, I want to be an angel investor. Like, you know, invest in small businesses, like, people who with uh, great ideas and need capital. Um, I want to have, I want to own a home, pay for a home in Georgia, North Carolina, California, and somewhere else. But like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then travel everywhere. Of course, I want my children to have like funds for like before they graduate. Like, I'm just, I'm just so excited. There's so many things that will come from being debt free. So, like I guess that 23 months is not a lot. Okay. It's not a lot of time in the gist of things. Um, so it's worth it to me. So I hope that helps you guys <laughs> stay motivated. Cause I am motivated, like, for real. I'm ready. I'm excited. I'm going to do this thing. I'm already on it. I've already... Listen, when I paid that, my whole work bonus toward that debt to pay off that one loan I had, I knew I was in this for the long haul. <laughs> I knew I was committed. Because when I tell you what I had to go through to get that... And all the work I put in for that. Anyway, so yeah. And I didn't go shopping with it, and then I just paid it toward day. I paid the whole loan off with that. Well, I had to add a little bit to it, but like, yeah. I was like, okay, this is real now. We ain't not playing no games now. So, anyway, stay motivated, guys. I will see you guys next Saturday. Stay tuned. I have a bonus video I'm going to do. I really want to talk about another topic. So, it's a bonus video for Smart Money Saturday. Definitely check that one out. Um, comment below if you have any questions, comments, topic requests, anything like that. And I will see you guys next Saturday. Stay motivated.